Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden with the Geek Group. Today we're here in the basement of Geek House 1 where we are replacing some antique uh, supports because this stuff is just kind of scary. It is kind of cool to have this big old jack down here, but I, I don't trust it a whole lot. So we're going to replace this with shiny new modern day stuff. This is the Tapco C84 floor jack. It's pretty manly. So, yeah, we got this uh, for apparently $40 at Lowe's, and we're going to swap this out. So what I'm going to do is replace these two, and to do that, I've got three of these. Because what we're going to do is we're going to start by putting one here in the middle. This is where most of our load is from above, and then that'll relieve a lot of pressure over here, and I can swap this one out, and then I can swap that one out. And then I'll take the middle one out, and we'll use that jack somewhere else. So, so that's the plan for today, and we're going to rock out and do this. So follow along. Have some fun. All right, so when you open up the floor jack thing, it comes with two posts, two bolts, two acorn nuts, and a dingus, so, which is a big screw thing. So yeah, here's how it goes together. You put a base plate down. The plates are pretty much exactly the same, so it doesn't really matter. But we're going to put a plate there, and I'm going to get that lined up about where I want it, which is actually over this way a little. And then you've got a plate with a lot of holes, and a plate with only two holes. A plate with two holes goes on the bottom and sits right on top. You've got a, a nub in the middle of the plate. The nub goes up and then you set that on there and then the piece with all the holes goes in here. Like that. And it's kind of greasy. It's got like a packing lube on it. You're gonna get a little messy doing this, but you're doing structural work in the basement, so you know you gotta you gotta be prepared to get messy. But this goes in there, you can see there's a little lip. A little lip anchors it in there like that. And then grab a bolt. Now this is a part where it's kinda of handy to have a friend. I get that about where I want it. That's my nearest hole right there. And I'm gonna put the nut through from the back side to the front, like that. And now I've got another hole here that lines up good. So I'm going to put this nut through. And the reason you put the nut from the back side through is so you don't have to fight this around in the back. And you just put these on finger tight for now and they'll be fine. They'll come down nice and snug. There, and now we're all lined up there. And the other plate, you'll see, you've got a divot on it. And the divot sticks out a bit. And the divot always goes towards the pole. So the bottom one, the divot goes up. The top one, the divot goes down. And you put that right, there's a little nub on top. You put right in there. Then you just unscrew this. You gotta hold the disc and unscrew this up. And you wanna be careful because in adjusting this, you can start to hear weird sounds come from your house. It does not take a lot of movement to have a pretty significant impact on your house. But we want to move this up just a bit. There, so that's nice and snug, and that is bearing weight, you can be pretty damn sure. So, cool. So now we move on to this antique jack here, which is kind of scary. How much do we trust that, Mike? Oh, now we gotta get this thing out, which I'm pretty sure it hasn't moved in a lot of years. If you think this thing doesn't scare the hell out of me just a little bit, you <laughs> Those are all like nailed together. <laughs> all 
Alright, so that's out of there. Good. Good. I can look at that. Well, now that you've got a good load on this, you can tighten these down much tighter because they're loaded. And that's how you put a jack in your basement. And that looks much better than that antique. We moved this one over a bit to balance things out a little bit. And now we take this one and loosen it a little bit. This is a very similar jack, but obviously an older model. I like them with the, the rod integrated into them. Makes life a bit easier. And we can take that out. Set it aside back there with its old cinder block that we're not going to need anymore. And we grab our, which is just about where we want it. Grab another jack. Now I noticed, Mikey, these are made by a company called Tapco. Tapco. Mm -hmm. Now, as I remember, Tapco is the name of the company that Greg Mackey, or Bob Mackey? Mackey, of Mackey Design. So if you know those yeah. audio company, mixing yeah. consoles and stuff. I like Mackey. Yeah, no, I like Mackey. But wasn't Tapco the name of his first company? Like before they were Mackey, they were Tapco? Something like that. I wonder if it's a related enterprise. Put it in there, put the little lip down, take this up to about where you want it. Find your nearest hole, which is right there. Pop that through. Pop that one through. Bring that up. For your preliminary placement. And remember that's that's just to get things spotted. And then finger tighten these. And then we grab our little. Beautiful. Beautiful. Life is good. Okay, and we tighten this. Now that you've got both of the permanent end ones in, let's double check level on everything. Good, 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 good. All right, so that's happy. And now that these are both in safely, you can take the middle one out because it's just redundant. And this will go in a different part of the basement. And that is how you install basement jacks. You guys have fun. And we'll have more for you next time. We're going to get back to work. See you later, guys.